I'm on a mission to find out what the true Lebanon culture is like by living with a family. We experience the day to day life of a shepherd in Lebanon, and then at the end, we'll find out more about what the economic situation is like. What does he think the future of Lebanon is going to be like? And more about the Beirut explosion and how Lebanon has changed. Okay, so me and uh, Thomas are going up to see his father, who should be hopefully uh, milking the goats. He's seen Lebanon go through a lot of changes and stuff. Yeah, so. he was here during the civil war, uh, during every each and every crisis. Wow, <laughs> so he's a very resilient and, man. Yeah, and especially uh, uh, up there, there's a church, and this is like the line between the Shiite yeah. and the Christian. Wow. So the village down there is the Christian stronghold, or was the str uh, Christian st uh, stronghold in yeah. the north. And uh, everything up there is uh, is the Muslim stronghold. Okay. So. Hi, Kel. Kifak. Kilim ne? Kilim ne? Yeah. Into Mabsud? Into Mabsud. Yeah. Tamem. Into Kifak. Yeah. أنا منيح منيح تمام أنا متنام تمام بفحص ولا بلا فحص ميرسي ميرسي مبلم My Arabic is uh, شوي شوي obviously uh -oh. What did he say? Pretty good in Arabic No no, no. I need to learn Okay so he's going to uh, show us how they milk the goats They don't kill the goats they only milk them which is very good يلا 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 بينا يلا 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 Oh wow, look at this guy. Yeah, this is, uh, that's a that's not a these are goat. Like three uh, matches. That's a cow. Yeah. Oh my god, that's huge. I've never seen a goat that big in my life. No. No. Yeah. How, how many I'm guessing in Lebanon now this is a, you know a declining industry, the farming or would you say it's still alive? Uh, I would say it's even increasing. Oh really? Yeah, because people will see that you have to have like food sovereignty. You can't rely on uh, on markets. Ah, Everything okay. is very uh, very expensive. Uh, the, the financial situation uh, is yeah encouraging people to go back to the land. And, Diversify. And yeah. <laughs> if I ever quit YouTube, then I know what I'm going to be doing. You're welcome. Become a goat farmer. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Merci, yeah, baby. But I'm going to have a go at milking them. Yes. Wap <laughs> khaliza the darb. We'll see how he does it. Good. Wow. Good. He's big. Come sir. Like this? Oh, there's a technique. He's just. You gotta build a ring with your fingers around the. Tamem. Kick this behold. Boom. There we go. Come in. So this is all milk in here. This is crazy. Yeah. First time milking a goat. Oh, it's very warm as well. It feels weird when I get it on my hand. Warm milk. He said, uh, if you continue like with this oh. speed, we're gonna finish tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh there we joking. go. Wow. Yeah, you see. Oh my god! Yeah, years and years of experience, man. <laughs> I was doing it about. But you did it better than I do. Oh really? Honestly, yeah. So this is from maybe only four goats, probably so far. So they can produce a, a good amount of milk. Right. If you, Trying some raw you goat milk. Take it to the hospital if it goes wrong. Don't worry. It was nothing. I couldn't even taste that. But it actually, very nice. Very nice. Ronaldo, mate. <laughs> Ronaldo, stop running away. He's staring at me. I mean, he's at exactly the same height as him. So if uh, I'm watching him, he's doing a little circle. Maybe he wants to kill me. He's still going double. Akimbo. How old is your father? Uh, 68. Oh, wow. Yeah. Still working hard. Still Harder working than ever. Hard. <laughs> this is a thing I notice when I, when, whenever I do a homestay. There's always usually an older gentleman 
who is working harder usually than anyone else and he doesn't complain and if you ask him if he's happy he'll say yes i like the haircut yeah <laughs> i'm gonna get this haircut next time i go to the barber <laughs> here we go we have a full bucket of goat milk this is a uh, crazy like the most authentic farm life you can get in uh, Lebanon. Today is Sunday in the village, which means there is a mass. Obviously, Lebanon is Christian and Muslim. Um, there's many religions here, but Christian and Muslim is the main two religions. So we're going to see what mass is like on a Sunday. It's very busy today. So today is the day of the church? Today is the day yesterday and today is the day of this church. That's okay. why almost everybody from the village comes up for you. Oh. Amazing. Almost everybody knows each other. Yeah, yeah, you know everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it's so busy we can't even get in. What's the... Like, what the most of the people in this village do for work? Very different. But uh, nowadays many work for uh, NGOs. Most of the people that are still here are only able to stay here uh, if they work for NGOs. Oh, really? Put it on the pillow. Slap it on there. Look. You can see. And you take the za'atar mixture. The za'atar, which is, which is, is oregano, is sesam, uh, sesame ah. seeds, uh, toasted sesame seeds, and sumac, and olive oil, of course. And then you spread it around. And I've been having manusha every single day that I've been here in Lebanon. So I'm going to be testing out whether this compares to the manusha down in Junior. Putting the pressure on. <laughs> <laughs> is manush? Uh, how do you say it again? Manush. Manush. Is that? Is it from Lebanon or is it from a different? Uh, le look, people even say that the Italian pizza mm. originally I'm comes dead. from Lebanon. Ooh. <laughs> the Italians. I say. The Italians in it's the comments <laughs> are going to be angry about that. Yeah. No, but. Don't uh, tell your Italian friends. Okay. Which Kishik. is uh, dried uh, yogurt mm -hmm. with. Um, goat yogurt from our goat yep. uh, with a bit of uh, bulgur do you know it like the wheat Bul the, bulgur yeah the it's a, you derive it from from the wheat okay and i can show you later slap it on this is also mixed with oh, nice. olive oil oh awesome and you also drizzle it oh look at that and tomatoes or tomatoes, I'm trying to respect the brick. Oh, well, like this. Oh, yeah. Just burn the, the crust of it. Now we're going. Now we're yeah, he's going to be right. It's quite fun, I haven't said. Finish it with pour some pomegranate. pomegranate oh, I love the pomegranate sauce. Well. Or, as we say in Lebanon, pomegranate bon molasses. Here we go. This looks like a proper pizza. Oh, that is so good. Type. Better than Junior? Actually, yes, because yeah. I prefer. <laughs> I'm not just saying this for the camera. I do prefer thin crust, and this is very thin, unlike the ones in the rest of Lebanon, which are quite thick. Now, let's try the second one. Oh my god, I don't know which one I prefer. Two di completely different tastes. This one's got like a tomato, the pomegranate sauce, and then this one's more of a dry, but uh, the thyme is so, so delicious. All right guys, now we are taking the goats for a little walk and the doggos. As you can see, I've got my traditional shepherd dress on and um, we got a high cull over here, just washing over and looking at the land. What a cool job. A hard job, but a cool job. If you had to ignore all of the the BS with Lebanon, yeah. what, what would you say is your favorite thing? It's a tough question. <laughs> but you know, uh, I enjoy the, the walks in the morning with the goats when I do it. Yeah, this it's is amazing. Uh, kind of relaxing and you start your day in a way like watching them eat and graze and be, be happy with uh, whatever they find. Mm -hmm. It's a nice thing. And uh, yeah, I, I think you, you came twice now, so you know that the yeah. people are, uh, even though 
the situation isn't that good. Everybody is kind of chill and uh, yeah. easy to handle and yeah. uh, in a good mood. Exactly. Almost all the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If there's one thing I know about Lebanon, which I've been here three times, like Thomas said, um, it's that the people are the most resilient I've ever seen. They don't complain. They just get on with it because they they now know that you know. If they play the victim cards, then no, nothing's going to happen. They're just going to be victims for the rest of their life. So they just get on with it and uh, they make them, themselves flourish in times of, in bad times. It says the nature overall. And, and the way of life. The easy, simple way of life. And yeah. with the people too. Like the, that you get along with almost everybody. Even though, you know, there's struggle everywhere, yeah. or almost everywhere. The community. And there is no law. <laughs> there is no war. <laughs> <And> chaos. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the chalet that I'm staying in. Obviously, you can see it's usually made for a couple of people. You could probably fit three, four people in here. We've got our own, uh, this is like the heater, um, all handmade. Um, obviously it gets very cold in the winter and but it's the summer now so it's not too bad at all uh, it's actually very nice but our own kitchen our own shower it's doesn't look like anything special but it's very authentic and it's actually very clean and very nice but the best thing about it is this outside area just peace quiet no worries about life so what I'll let you do this but what is the the process of pasteurizing you basically just you, you boil it? Yeah, you uh, heat it up. Uh, first, you gotta take out everything that, for example, this fly yeah. that came into the milk. Uh, and then we're gonna heat it up to uh, 65 degrees Celsius. So, as you can see, we've got the um, goat's milk being pasteurized here, and basically, we've seen from the goat. This is the final product here. This is the cheese. As you can see, they're leaving it out because they. You said your dad goes for like the more of like the aged yeah, you can blue see cheese the, style. This is this is the the product when. It's How long has that been? Already out for? been left out. I would say this one, uh, two three weeks minimum. Ah, okay. Like at fifteen. Uh, 15 degrees uh, Celsius. So Thomas was uh, telling me about the power issues in Lebanon, obviously. If you don't know about it, Lebanon since how long ago has it had power issues? A long since, time? Uh, since, uh, since you've been Minimum uh, 31 years. Oh really? 31 yeah, years? I thought it was I, like no, 10 I, years. No, okay. I grew up uh, when, we were, when we were small, it was always like, pop, okay, lights out. It's, okay. it's a normal thing. But so, it, it increased, sorry, it increased in the last few years, of course, okay. due to the, the economical Okay, crisis. so it's getting better, but still, a lot of the country still does not have 24-7 power. Um, fortunately, well, people have taken it into their own hands, and they now have generators. This is like, oh, the country, the whole country has this issue, and so you either have to get a generator, or what some people are doing in Lebanon, which I've seen uh, these guys are doing, which is getting solar power. We're done. We're done. So you can see it's pasteurized now. We're gonna filter it once it's, it's cold, filter it again. Okay. As you see, there are still. Yeah. As you can see, these are all apple trees, and they grow the apples because they like to make apple cider and apple cider vinegar. As you can see, Haikal is making the apples now. It smells really strong. so strong and there's so many bees and wasps in here they crush the apples up here move it into this where they basically squash it down and then the juice comes out and that is that's for the cider we're currently doing uh, organic apple juice Hey boy. Put it in a, in a big jar, like yeah. one of these. Put it inside of uh, the Kerke, the uh, distillery. 
and yeah, we let, here we light it up with our uh, apple uh, branches that we mm -hmm. uh, trim off like uh, prune and that we and fire it up and pasteurize it 85 degrees you see there's like maybe 20 or 30 wasps and they must love the the apple sugar oh wow no that just tastes like normal apple juice that you would find in the supermarket apart from less sweet because there's probably no added sugar no added sugar this is just zero it's yeah fresh active. yeah this is actually so delicious i was expecting it to be super uh raw almost like um kind of rough but really really nice and then he pushes or swings it down so basically it's gonna press this as hard as it can and squeeze all the apple juice out you see it's pushing it down there and more water is coming out Ooh. oh there we go now we're really getting started oh starting to come out a lot now to the gym. <laughs> just going, yeah. just make some side triceps, triceps. How old is Rowing. this? Rowing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it gets hard. Ten years. But how do you They're still producing. Of course, you have newer technologies. And the other one behind you is 40 years old. Now the next step is to basically filter the apple juice one more time because there's probably still flies, skin and other bits inside and maybe a few wasps as well so basically just sieving all the water out to get everything and it's starting to smell really nice now. This is the final product. Look at all this apple juice. Delicious. Kesak. <laughs> Merci. So we're getting some war stories from the man, the myth, the legend, Haikal. I have to say that this is how it In 88, um, just here, the, the second mountain is already uh, another area. So this is if you want, like, the Christian area, and there is a Shiite area. And during the war, there were clashes. So he was in the Bekaa, and he was coming here, and it was already ongoing. So he had to make a detour and go to the village first. So my mom and my, my siblings were, were downstairs. And when he came up here, they hit the house with a rocket. في طريق هيك تنزل لي شش شفت الاس بي جي اجت من فوق ودي على السطح وجهت عنده في وشي طلعت طلعت So uh, I focused a bit more on the cheese, uh, homemade mozzarella sticks, uh, homemade sourdough pizza with mozzarella, mm -hmm. also homemade uh, sourdough bread and everything. If you want more meat. Everything is looks really delicious. Well, wow. sack ten. Merci. Hello, Salah. Hello, Salah. Hello, Salah. Fik. Today, it's these are chips. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. no, actually, well, respect, respect <laughs> the culture. <laughs> we we call these fries as well because they're thin. But if they're ah, okay. if they're yeah. thick, they're chips. What do you call these? Are grilled potatoes? Also. These are. Uh, How do you call? Do you have maybe potato wedges? I'm I'm not too sure. Okay. They were, I don't think we call them chips. Um, Can you ask your father? What does he think the future of Lebanon is going to be like? مستقبل لبنان بالتوراق موسى بيطبع بجبل لبنان من من 
عندي من من ازايات بيطلع بجبل لبنان هلا بتحسن. So this is the land of God. This is what you're saying. So. We're probably gonna be okay, you know. Are you? Are you? How are we still alive in this country? Are you? How are we still alive in this country? Are you? This is incredible. You like it? Yeah. But then, and in terms of like the like the sixties and the seventies, does he remember? Does he have like fond memories of those times before the war? Can you ask him what um, he was doing when the Beirut explosion happened and does he remember anything interesting about that? Saying the first thing that he thought about was our older sister because she spends a lot of time in Ashrafiyya. <coughs> really? Many explosion. people now if they hear fireworks or anything, if Which happens you just a lot. clap on the table, like really loud, sudden uh, noise, you see, you still see the reaction is and it's all because of the, the explosion. It's a big mafia, this is what he said. A big what? It's a big mafia, because yeah. still now, you know, there's zero accountability. Yeah, 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 still no, no answers. No answers, no. And all of the, is it correct that the business owners had no have no insurance because the there's not been an yeah. official reason for it? Yeah, of course, insurance companies are also like... Not paying up. The, you know, we don't know if it was an accident but, or if it was a, so they yeah. don't know how they're going to pay back. And mm. then you have the whole issue about, you know, banks being bankrupt and insurance companies anyway not being able to pay because right. of and the whole... The, on uh, August the 4th, uh, 4th of August, it was the people that were on the street helping other people. So you had no no law, no order, oh, no, nobody no helping. Services. The state was completely absent, completely absent. Why? I have friends, they uh, took over a, a gas station which was abandoned and they started uh, helping people, distributing food to people in need. So it was mostly the people who took the initiative to help other people because everything else was completely absent. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Welcome. Well, sorry? He wants to give you a thousand. He said, oh, no, you dollars. Right. Dollars. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> he said he wants to pay me for the hard work I've put in today. Well, I'll be back to, uh, to do some more work in the future. So thank you so much. This man is a very charismatic man. He is a very famous man in this area. And it's been, a, it's been such a good time. He is one of the most hardworking men I've seen and his son. And the whole, the whole family is very hardworking and a true um, example of how you should live your life. Work hard, look after your family, look after your friends. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next video.